NASCAR plans to test rain tires on an oval. April Fools! Wait. It's not April 1st, so this can't be an April Fools. This is real! What? They are really going to Martinsville to test rain tires? That's right! You heard me right. This is not an April Fools. It is March 31st. It is not April 1st. It is not a March Fool. This is real. NASCAR is actually going to Martinsville to test rain tires. As you guys are well aware, if the track gets wet, NASCAR cannot race because the tires are not able to do that and rain tires have not worked on ovals in the past. They tested it like oh, 25 years ago with Terry Labonte at Martinsville. They tried some rain tires, but it didn't work. Um, but they've started to do it at road courses about, I want to say 10 years ago, I think they started that. And uh, for the first time ever, actually, last year, the Cup Series actually got to use them at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the race at the Charlotte Roval. Used it for about half the first stage before coming and changing onto some, some you know, racing tires, not the rain tires because it had dried out by that point. But the best example that we saw was last year in the Xfinity race when it basically rained the whole entire race and the teams had to use their rain tires for basically the whole race. But as for the ovals, it has never worked. It has never been used much because it's so much different. With the road course, you're, you got different types of turns, different types of speeds, whereas an oval, you're consistently putting on the same lap, the same pressure on the tires. There's the same wear, and the wear is just completely different. Uh, they have to build the tire different. I don't know all the technicalities, but it's it's very different and it's much more difficult to make a rain tire for an oval racetrack. And NASCAR is testing tomorrow at Martinsville to see if they can run a rain tire at some flat tracks. So we're not going to have this at all the ovals. It's going to be the flat tracks. So Martinsville, Richmond, Phoenix, New Hampshire. Um, those are just a few. I think that's that might be it. I might be missing one. But then obviously the road courses, I looked it up. And I think the tracks that they listed, um, it would be potentially nine races this year. If it does, if it is successful that they could use the rain tires. And the test that they're doing, it's not going to be a full out pouring down rain test the there's no rain forecasted at martinsville tomorrow it's going to be a controlled environment nascar is just testing a damp racetrack with the tires they're not doing a heavy downpour this is just purely to save time during rain delays rain delays take hours you have to dry the whole track and if it rains again you got to start all over again so it's really complicated it's a really long process but they're trying to do something to shorten that process and they think rain tires can help if it has rained a bunch and the track is damp and they think they can run some rain tires. So the plan is they're gonna bring in some of those water trucks, they're gonna make the whole surface wet and Kyle Larson and Chris Busher will run some laps on the rain tires to see how they run uh, on the damp conditions. Once again, it's not gonna be pouring down rain, it's not even gonna be raining. They're just gonna make the track wet and they're going to see what can they do. How can they make it work with these rain tires? And if it does work, they said the earliest they could use it is Richmond in two and a half weeks. According to Bob Pockers, Bob said NASCAR is to test rain tires Thursday at Martinsville, Larson and Busher. Goal is to see if that if can ran in the can run in the damp, not to run in downpour at short flat tracks such as Martinsville, Richmond, Loudon, Phoenix possibly have those tires ready as early as Richmond in a couple of weeks. Richmond will be run on April 18th. Today is March 31st. That is approximately two and a half uh, weeks from now. So yeah, it'll, it'll be potentially done by then. But once again, this is a test. We don't know how it could go. It could go very successful and we could have the potential or the if it did rain at Richmond, we could have that availability. But if it doesn't work, they might push it back again and do another test. Now, NASCAR has already been in Martinsville for a couple of days now testing the next-gen car. So they already have officials there. And I know nothing. Okay, before you ask questions, I don't know anything about the next-gen testing. Uh, it's the first time that they've run the specific manufacturer cars 
uh, for Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. It's been closed to the public, closed to the media. There are no pictures, no videos. I have not seen a single thing on the next-gen cars for each specific manufacturer. So uh, they did some testing, so officials are already there, and they will continue to stay at Martinsville tomorrow. I believe it's just tomorrow that they're going to be testing, but rain tires. I like it. I do. Rain delays can be a pain. It's obviously a pain for NASCAR. It's a pain for the track workers. It's a pain for the drivers, the teams. they got to adjust their cars, get ready for new conditions. Uh, obviously, sometimes they have to stay a day later than they anticipate, and it shortens their schedule for a regular week. And in some cases, like we saw at Texas last year, it takes a couple of days to get the race in because of the rain. So a small step forward, I think, is huge for NASCAR if this ends up working. Um, even if it's at some short tracks, some flat tracks, we look at the schedule, and it's only road courses. If NASCAR continues to plan on having five to seven road courses a year, and then with the flat short tracks like Martinsville, Richmond, and uh, Phoenix, and Loudoun, then that's, what, two, six, eight, potentially half the schedule that could have that could race in damp conditions. Now, road courses, they can be run in full-out rain. It can be raining, and they could be racing. The short tracks, once again, that's going to be different. It's only if the track is damp. They're not going to do anything in the rain if it's pouring down rain. That's going to be a little difficult, but... I like that NASCAR is trying something new. I like that they're going to try to make a change and that it's going to this change is likely going to be a major major impact on the sport for years to come if it does end up working because once again, rain delays suck. Obviously for the fans, you wait all week you're the anticipation for a race on Sunday and then it gets rained out and it, it's very frustrating and obviously if you buy tickets and you can only make it Sunday cuz Honestly, a lot of people can't make it on Monday if it gets pushed to Monday because people have school, people have work. Uh, so it, it makes it very, it's very unfortunate when rain happens on a race weekend that there's just so many things that are out of our control that we can't control. But trying to change some of these things, you know, to try to make it better, try to help improve um, the track conditions, obviously, but to try to improve the fan experience as well because... Obviously, the rain just it ruins everything basically. And if you could just get a little bit back, if you could just save some time, and especially with the tracks that don't have lights that are a limited day day time, and then obviously the TV networks, there's there's a lot of complications that come into factor when it comes to the rain, um, tracks not being ready. But this is a huge step. Once again, this is a huge step for NASCAR. Uh, I don't know how this will go. I really don't. I don't know specifics about the tires other than it's going to be the rain tires. So uh, if you look at a normal NASCAR cup tire like that they ran at oh, Atlanta a couple weeks ago, it's a pretty flat looking tire. There's no, I don't, I can't think of what to call it, but there's no, it's like, then you look at your car's tire that you go and drive. If you go look at that, that's what they run on the road courses in the rain. It's going to be something like that on the ovals. But uh, I think the biggest issue is going to be wear. Uh, I don't know how this tire is going to wear on the wet conditions or on the wet surface. And not just that, but on the oval. And then also, I don't know how the car is going to handle. If it's going to be much more difficult to drive. If it's going to be... Uh, the braking is going to be different. I don't know what kind of adjustments these teams have to make, but I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes. I really hope it's a success because I think if this is a success, it's going to be, it's going to be a big step for NASCAR. And it's going to be a big step for some of these motorsports that run on ovals that, uh, that have had problems with these rain delays before. So, uh, anything to save time, obviously when it comes to these rain delays, uh, it's a big deal. It's a big deal if they can get this done, if they can get this to work. Um, so yeah, NASCAR is NASCAR's trying to revolutionize tires, I guess, for uh, oval racing. Uh, obviously, every other motorsport that runs on road courses, Formula One, they've all got uh, rain tires ready. But NASCAR, uh, they only have the rain tires for the road courses, trying to move it onto the ovals. Not all the ovals, just the flat, the flat ones. But uh, yeah, I think... I think this could work, and if it does, it's going to be a big step in the right direction for NASCAR. Uh, I'm not going to say that they're going to immediately be able to run uh, rain tires at uh, you know the bigger tracks, the Daytona, Talladega, even the mile and a half like Texas, Las Vegas, 
but you know it could be a step in the right direction to look into researching some of this stuff, uh, talking to Goodyear about a potential tire for these mile and a half. But uh, if they can get this done, if it ends up being a success this week, uh, that that's a huge step in the right direction. So uh, once again, NASCAR they've they've made a lot of big decisions in the past year or so. Uh, obviously, the Bristol Dirt Race is the most recent example. They did a great job with that. I thought they did. The racing was great. Obviously, the track workers they did an amazing job. Uh, having to deal with rain speaking of rain uh with all the dirt and having to you know what's it called treat the dirt having to resurface the track redo the track a bunch and you know in between races in between stages having to remove the dirt and having to put water on the dirt they they did a great job with that uh so these tracks these teams nascar overall has done a great job with some of these changes uh taking some big risks and some big steps and uh, hoping that they work. And if they do work, then NASCAR is going to look great. So uh, I see this as a, as a potential huge win for NASCAR. Even if it doesn't work out, then they've learned something that they could take down the road, um, potentially adjust on, make better. So I think it's a good call by NASCAR. I really do. Rain tires all the way. Woohoo. Uh, I hate rain delays. I'm sure you guys do. Uh, some other things, just quick things I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, De Marcus Smith, he's the president and CEO of SMI, which is the owner of all the Motor Speedway uh, tracks, so Charlotte, Texas, Bristol, anything that ends at Motor Speedway, basically. He was on Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s podcast the other day. He had some interesting talking points. Uh, he talked about that they were looking at North Wilkesboro. He said no promises, but he says they do care about the fans. They hear the fans talking about North Wilkesboro. North Wilkesboro hasn't been run since 1996 when Jeff Gordon won the final race there. So been a while since there's been a race there, but he said that they are looking at it. They're talking about it. They are currently in discussions with the city of Nashville about Nashville Fairgrounds. They have to get a deal done, some type of contract done by June, I believe, uh, in order to, to get the track ready for a potential race in the upcoming few years. And then another thing, it was touched on, we talked about this in the live streams, every time it's a rain delay, I brought it up this past weekend, a roof. What if there was a roof on Bristol? He brought that up, uh, he said, he didn't say it was gonna happen, but he kinda talked about it, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. But yeah, I mean, man, if they can get this rain tire thing working, I think it's gonna be a huge step, but. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys feel somewhat informed. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I can't believe that's not an April Fool's.